In this video, we'll be installing a Q-frame main breaker on a 225 amp NQ panel board. The first step in the process is to install the mounting pan that is included in the kit. The mounting pan has two holes on each side and these align with two holes on each side of the rails on the main end of the panel board. Next, we'll position the, the breaker onto the mounting pan based on feed direction. The mounting pan has eight holes, two sets of four. There's a B mark for bottom feed for the set of holes to be used for bottom feed, and there's a T mark for top feed for the holes to be used for top feed. Next, we're going to back off the wire binding screws on the three lugs of the breaker and the three lugs of the panel. I'm preparing the load end of the breaker to install the cables. Next we'll install the cables. There are four cables included in the kit. Three of them are straight and one of them is offset. When you have a three-phase panel board, you'll use the three straight cables. If you have a single phase panel board, you'll use the offset and one of the straight cables. To install the cables, you want to leave them loosely sitting inside of the lugs of the breaker. Slide the breaker close to the panel board and then slowly move the cables into the lugs of the panel board, and then slide the entire assembly forward. Next, before we tighten the lugs, we need to install the breaker to the mounting pan. There are four screws to do this process. There are two long screws and two short screws. The locations for the long screws are on the face of the breaker, and these two holes in these two locations. The holes for the short screws are in these locations. There are screw finder features in the mounting pan, so once you get close, wiggle the breaker slightly and the screws should find their home. Next, we'll tighten all of the six lugs. Next, we'll use a torque wrench and tighten each lug to the specified torque that's in the instruction sheet that comes with the kit. Next, we'll install the dead front brackets onto the mounting pan. The dead front brackets are designed so that they have an anti-rotation feature that goes on the bottom side. This step slides into the slot in the mounting pan. Next, we'll modify the dead front assembly to install the main breaker cover. We'll be in removing the lug cover on the line end of the dead front.
And our last step is to install the main breaker label in the correct location based on the orientation, top feet or bottom feet.